Hello, I'm Amy Rademacher, Farm Safety Specialist for Carl Foundation Hospital, and I've been a Progressive Ag Safety Day Coordinator for over 16 years. One prop that I like to use is our black box that shows reflectivity. So today I wanted to show you how to make a black box and how it's used for our Progressive Ag Safety Days. First, what you'll need is either to purchase a black box. It can be this size, it could be a little bit larger. You can buy them in, sometimes you can find and buy them in black, but here I have just purchased a clear one. And then I've purchased plastic spray paint, black plastic spray paint. Usually it only takes a couple rounds inside the tub and you'll get enough black coverage to cover the entire box. Then the next thing that you will need is a hot glue gun and some reflectors. So items that I have purchased to demonstrate include a couple reflective um, tags that would go on, on the spikes of a bicycle. You can also purchase things um, such as this and if you shake them they will come on and flash. And so these go on spokes as well for a bicycle. You can purchase something like this that can be worn as a wristband or in um, an Anabaptist community. Sometimes we'll use something similar on horses. And I also purchased this one that you can turn on and it will flash. The final piece you'll need is a black sock or a piece of a black sock. Then you use your hot glue gun and you place the items inside and glue them to the walls of the black box. Now, items such as this that have batteries, I usually just turn them on and then I'll set them inside. And you can do the same thing with the little pods that go on sp spikes of a bicycle as well. But then I set them like this and I'll have a student come up, I'll have them sit in a chair and I'll explain that they actually are old enough to drive. I need them to pretend that they're old enough to drive. And then I'll say, when we're learning to um, become good drivers, we need to understand how to look at different things constantly. We never are looking down the road for any extended period of time or anything for an extended period of time. Only about three seconds do you ever look at something as you're, as you're driving. So then after they've had a chance to look in the box, I'll ask them what they've seen. Then I'll give them one more opportunity and after they've usually identified the um, brighter things and the flashing things, I will ask them, is there anything else? Uh, usually I never get a response from that. And then I'll point out the item in the back. And then I'll ask them what it is. And they'll say, well, it's a black piece of fabric. And I ask why they didn't see it to begin with. And usually they can relate, well, everything else is black and I didn't notice it. Uh, then I show all the kids because every single child is going to want to see what does this look like. And obviously after the first child, everyone will see that black sock. But it's still a good opportunity and I have never had somebody um, locate that with first glance, um, even the teachers. So it's a really good explanation um, of why we wear reflective equipment either on our bike or we should be wearing bright colors. Um, so something very simple to create and utilize. If you have a larger box, you could use something like an SMB emblem. You could use larger reflectors that go maybe on the end of a road or your lane. You can use um, the strips of reflective material that can be put on equipment. And you could make a, a larger version just with a bigger piece of black um, fabric. You could also do something similar in an area or a room where you can cut out all the light and kind of create a scavenger hunt. Um, use the same thing, you can put reflectors around the room, ask the kids to leave the room, and list the items that they have seen within the room. So you'd wanna use obviously something bigger that's black, but um, another opportunity to do something similar. How does black look against a black sky, a black room? What does that look like? So this is one tool um, that's very simple and very inexpensive to build and goes a long way in talking about reflectors on bikes as well as on your person.